everyone, Muriel here. I hope everyone is doing well today. I have a project share. I've been talking about this for a while, but I was so distracted by the squirrel, which um, again, we caught one. There is still another one. Um, I've been seeing him all morning. He's been um, prancing around the cage. Uh, he has not gone in the cage yet, so let's just hope sometime today he goes in and get himself some of those good peanuts. So what I have are some tags that I made. Um, I see I got some glue on my table. I'm sorry, you guys. I made some tags for um, some bags. I love um, giving bags with um, gifts in them, as well as uh, making them along with bows. So you've seen the ones I've made in the past. So these here I made um, to go on to some gift bags. And they're really um, simple. They are um, Jen Hatfield's uh, product. Um, I'm not a um, connoisseur of her product. I know there's Patio Party, there's Along the Way, there's, um, uh, see, see, I don't know them all. So I pulled out uh, what I thought went together. So I can't tell you what collection is from, but I'll tell you where it all started from. I pulled out this Jed Hatfield uh, washi tape, washi paper. I believe I got it from Tuesday morning. I haven't seen it uh, out and about, but I used these strips to make some rosettes. I had been gifted some white rosette strips. I had them for some time. Someone had gifted them to me, and I thought, let me put some washi on them because I've done that before with some other um, rosettes that I made. So I thought I would uh, use some of these strips. Sorry, I'm trying to find. Okay. Um, I thought I would use these strips to make some. So I've made these before. And this, these are made with vellum and washi, washi tape. So um, I used um, the white uh, rosette strips that someone had gifted me a long time ago. And I just used some of this. A washi paper and made the rosettes. The washi paper um, is really pretty. It's all of those uh, low tones uh, from the Jen Hadfield collection. Really pretty though. So once I made the rosette, I knew I wanted to um, expand on it. So I dug in my little plastic case of wooden pieces. We, we all have this. I mean, there's everything in here. Picture frames, there's little animals, there's wooden fruits, shapes, flowers, um, typewriters, cameras, words, letters, you name it. But I was looking for something big. So I, I had these in here. These are just some um, fishtail wooden banners. And I also had some um, mason jars. So from there, I just pulled out some of her collection, some of her stickers, and I created these um, embellishment clusters, and I put them on tags to go onto some paper bags. So I've showed you the washi tape. I'll show you the tags I'm using. Again, I pulled out my Jed Hatfield iris case, and I had these in there. These were from Tuesday morning, too. They are um, around the way. That, is that what it is? Around the way. Yes, around the way tags. And there are 36 tags in here. One, two, three, four, five different um, tags that you can see. Or six different ones. So there are six of each. So the ones that don't have a, a really pretty design, like this one. Someone is singing outside. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. So this tag and this tag I used and put the row set over it. But you also see that they all say um, to and from on the bottom. So they were definitely perfect for gift giving. So there is the row set. And then I covered up the mason jar and I'll show you how I did that. I am using um, stickers from her sticker book here. 
This is a Jed Hatfield. This was at uh, Hobby Lobby. It was reduced when they had the red line stuff. This is, um, again, the subtle tones. Everything seems to be like homemade. So they're flowers and all kind of um, images. But I use several of these larger um, stickers to cover my wooden pieces with. It worked out perfect. And if the wooden piece was too large, then I use like a side strip like this to cover over the top. And you'll see um, I did that on this mason jar. You can see I covered it with a green um, sticker. And then on top, I used a, a clear sticker here. So it really just gave it a little bit more um, a, a colorful look so that it wasn't just one solid color. I used some silver uh, dimensional, um, what is that called? Uh, foam to cut out a small strip of silver that I kind of separated the lid from the jar. And I used another sticker down here. It says heart from the sticker book. Um, one of my... Uh, tan color flowers. I mounted that on a dimensional sticker. And then I'm using one of her stickers here of these strawberries. And um, you can see behind there is a green uh, leaf. And that is from the sticker book as well. And on this one here, I did use some of my new, but you can't see it, my new um, sulky thread. This stuff here. I'm still really learning how much of this to use. I think I got it now down to a science, but there is some under there somewhere. So it covers up that middle part of the sticker, but it does say to and from. And on the back, of course, if I wanted to write a message on it, I could. And then I could attach it to the bag. And I'll show you that, but I'll show you the rest of them. So I ended up having three of these mason jar um, wooden embellishments. So here, the washi is a beautiful peach color. And I try to get it as close to the edge as possible so you can see a lot of the color of the washi tape. Um, here, you can see some of the uh, sulky thread. This is the silver color. It's coming out here. It's coming out there. Uh, the mason jar is covered with another sp um, sticker. Um, here is one of her uh, dimensional stickers. This is Happy Days. And then I had a sticker sheet that I'm really trying to um, use up in terms of the um, um, puppy stickers that are on it. So I use that uh, black heart there and then two pearls here. And just lift it up, you can see where the dimension starts from the bottom onto the um, rosette. And then there's a dimensional sticker on the tan flower and then the dimensional sticker there. Okay, here is another one. Beautiful minty green washi paper. Some of this um, silver uh, sulky thread. And this uh, is a dimensional um, bicycle that I just put two black um, dots. I have these in black as well. Oh, here they are. So I just kind of cut them in half so that they would look like they were part of the bicycle. And then I also used some of the um, Jen Hadfield uh, gems. These are really pretty. And you can see there is a green one directly in the middle there. Okay. And then this one here. Then I found a smaller version of the um, fishtail uh, piece um, and I covered it up the same way it has a um, opening on the side so I punched a hole in the silver uh, what is um God, what is that called the the, the dimensional um, sticker stuff here um, I am using some of her uh, the puppy stickers not a lot of them because the ones that I have are from the patio party or the they're just really colorful you can see here they are from the bright life collection so i'm using this green one cup with the cactus on this one here there is a yellow um flower underneath that i just pulled out of my stash 
Um, here is one of her dimensional stickers. Again, some of the uh, silver uh, thread. And then here I attached a, that is a um, Maggie Holmes. Not a Maggie Holmes. This is from um, AliExpress, this little um, tassel. And then I have, I've been seeing some of the ladies use sequence on their charms. So I just put three yellow sequins on top of that and two um, um, uh, um, jump rings to attach to the wooden piece. And that completed that tag. So what I wanted to do was to make my last one. I think, yeah, that's my last one. I did five. And show you guys um, how I did it. So I have this tag here. And you can see, again, it has the... I'm going to put this down some. It has the um, love always on the center. So that's nothing. So I have my dimensional sticker. I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to put some hot glue on it because I want to make sure that it uh, stays, especially if it's going on a package. Okay, put that like that. I'm going to hold that down just a bit. And then on top of here, I pulled out another flower. This is a, um, again, a flower for my stash is just like the yellow one. It uh, feels kind of silky. I think you could pull the plastic off, but I'd rather leave it on. I'm just going to pull the back off of the dimensional sticker. And once again, put some glue on it. And go ahead and center that. And then hold that for a few. Then I'm going to be putting some of the um, sulky. This is... Silky 8001, and this is the silver thread. And what I've figured out is that if I pull it four times, that gives me a nice little bundle of it in my hands. It's just so hard to see. And I just ordered the other day some from Joann's, some of the op op opalescent color. I ordered two of them because that's a really pretty color as well. So once I get it in my hands, I'm just basically going to just kind of get a hold to it, right? And get a center. And then I'm going to put some glue on the center of this dot here. And then I'm just going to do that like that. There we go. You can kind of see it's just there and it's there. Now on top of this, I have another wooden piece that I did. I covered it with some of the sticker paper. I used another sticker to go across that. And this is the Thinking of You uh, dimensional sticker from Jed Hatfield. And then I have a charm here that says Wish on two jump rings. And then I'm going to add this little dimensional sticker, which is a little plant in a cup. And then there is a gray star. So I'm gonna, um, I got some dimensional stickers on the back that I'm gonna go ahead and peel off and then put that on top. I'm gonna also put a little glue on this one because again, it's going on a gift bag. So I'm just gonna put this like this, not this way. I want it to kind of cover up the little hole just slightly. There we go. Now on the back of that, I'm going to put a dimensional um, sticker. And I know I'm going to have to cut this in half. So I'm just gonna cut that like that. And let's see here. I'm gonna cut that piece in half. I don't think I want it all the way to the edge of that. Okay, peel this off. 
I love doing gift bags. I have some bags in there. Matter of fact, I gave my girlfriend a birthday gift the other day. I had a gift bag. I had a bow. Only thing I needed to do was pop the wine in the bag and she was so happy. So I can feel my tape here. I just want to make sure that it uh, sticks down. There we go. And it says wish. Okay, so get my fingers off of this. So I and I love this um thread because it just goes all over the place and that's fine. So then I thought, okay, how am I going to attach this? So I thought I would um pull out some bags and I did have a few craft bags in my stash. So what I did was I put some washi tape on top. I'll raise this up now on uh, top of this one and on top of this one. And then I added a doily because I have some of these flowers that I picked up at Tuesday morning some time ago. It's just like a bag full of them. They're fabric flowers. So I thought I would pull one of them out. And I think I was looking at this one to cover up, put in the middle of that circle. And then there is this one. So I don't know if I want the pearl because there's no, there's, I could. I'll just go ahead and put some glue on this and we'll get that down. Looks like I'm getting short on my glue gun. Okay, so we're just gonna center this. So one side of the bag will have this nice design to it. And then this side will have the tag on it and I haven't decided how I'm going to attach that but for now I'll just cut a, a string off and give you some idea of how it will look just got some of this gold thread here I might put a brad um, or an eyelet in this just to make it finish it off with a more um professional look so tie this like this and then that will hang like so Let's see here oh my scissors my scissors So that will hang like this. I think I might just um, tape it down to the side. I don't think I want it up there. So, but basically that's going to be how that's going to look for this person that I have to give a thank you gift to. I hope you guys enjoyed this small tutorial of these um, Jen Hatfield gift tags or thank you tags. They were so much fun to make. And until my next video, you guys take care. Bye now.